Season Trade Line A season trade line is a line of credit that the borrower has held open in good standing for a long period of time, typically at least two years. The season part simply implies that the account is aged or that it has an established history. Piggybacking Trade Lines Piggybacking trade lines is a practice involving season trade lines, sometimes called piggybacking, which uses a creditworthy borrower's accounts to improve the credit rating of an unrelated third party. The creditworthy borrower adds the third party as an authorized user of his lines of credit, but does not actually provide the third party with materials, credit cards, account numbers, etc., that would permit the third party to make charges against that account. The benefit to the third party is an improvement in their personal credit rating, their credit score increases. However, this does not change their entire credit record, but merely increases their credit score as a result of the newly added trade line. This may make the third party look like a better credit risk, and may improve the third party's access to new credit. However, a credit score is only one aspect of the lending process, that is, the borrower must pass all underwriting procedures, which include much more than the credit scores of the borrower. Opponents' Views those who oppose the concept of piggybacking would suggest that proponents views those who support the concept of piggybacking would suggest in response business model legality there is no cut and dried answer regarding the many questions surrounding the legality of piggybacking however there are many sources that tend to indicate perhaps a general answer such as according to the fair isaac company the creator of the fico score Authorized user accounts are legal and FICO 08 will include authorized user accounts in its credit score calculations. The Fair Isaac Company estimates there are approximately 50 million consumers who re-added as authorized users on other people's accounts. Dot. Upfront fees While the legality of piggybacking trade lines seems to remain ambiguous, there is a potential clear violation of federal law, if for example, a piggybacking company takes upfront fees from their clients. Section 404 of the Credit Repair Organizations Act, the CROA, states. Although the federal law appears to be clear, some states, including Florida, have enacted similar and stricter laws, requiring the use of trust accounts for client funds and a surety bond of $10,000 or more. While this is indeed much stricter, it appears to allow for upfront fees if the company is bonded and uses a trust account. For example, Section 817.7005, Florida Statute states, in relevant part. Piggybacking risks. The risk to the donor is that the other person might actually make charges against the account, and not pay it back. The brokers who provide this service claim that they do not reveal the entire account number to the recipient, or do not themselves have access to the account number. It is possible a recipient might learn the account number in some other way, for example if it appears on his own credit report. However, this is often insufficient information to make use of the account, a PIN, expiration date, or security code is typically also required. These measures further lower the risk to the donor. FICO 08 With FICO 08 on the horizon many brokers who used to add authorized users to existing credit card accounts have switched to brokering season primary accounts. A primary account is an account in the borrower's own name. This practice is not yet tested in the courts as the lender now has no way of telling your real credit from that of the former owner who had seasoned the account. With an authorized user account the credit report clearly marks the account as authorized user. With this new practice, however, the lender is not alerted to the true status of the account history. Authorized user accounts are legal and will be included into credit scoring. It's a violation of federal law to not include all information in a credit file while calculating a credit score. Dot. One thing is for sure, federal law, such as the CRO and the Federal Reserve Board Regulation B at least indicates a permissible purpose for adding authorized user trade lines. Trade Line Scams While primarily discussing credit repair, the Federal Trade Commission has written facts for consumers to assist them in avoiding scams. Some key components of these consumer facts suggest that you should 